Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Wait, 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 wait a second. Wait a second. Hold on. What? What? How? I'll oh, never mind. Okay, so next place we're going to is the GR Fire Fortress, as I said we were going to do. And we're also going to use our new Paralysis deck. I'll give you a little overview of that set up right here really quick just to remind you of what I put in this. It's mainly based off of causing paralysis and of course energy removal which is another form of paralysis I suppose you could say. This is a circular sized coin sought under an image of a magnemite. How convenient! But not that convenient so I'm gonna say no. Okay 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 yes. <laughs> I don't know why but these fire clubs they always seem to have really really bad floor texture. I mean, look at my player character against the floor texture. It's a hat, a couple of shoes, and a hand. <laughs> Actually, it's more like a bandana. Yeah, I guess, yeah, but anyway. <laughs> Thank you for visiting. This is Team GR's Fire Fortress. Allow me to tell you about your opponents and explain the rules. The leader of the GR Fire Fortress is a man named Bernard. In order to fight him, you must first defeat three GR Fortress members, of course. You'll learn about each member's special battle rules inside. That is all. Please enjoy dueling in Team GR's Fire Fortress. Thank you! And... Let's start off on the backside. Uh, and you, even those little volcanoes spewing fire are just like blend in so much with this background, not the floor texture. I'm known not as Team GR's mystery, but Team GR's Mr. G. But anyway, I'm not quite up to the times with you young'uns. I can't even put together a proper deck without training first. Uh, would you be so... Um, what, what? Really? You're not getting any packs from anyone? Would you be so kind as to help him? I require but a single card. What about the other 59? You are a member of Team GR, are you not? Y yes. You wouldn't happen to have an extra Dark Charizard level 38, eh? I have one, but it's not an extra. Uh, oh, it's just for the regular Charizard. So it's just like a, a swapperoo if I wanted to do, but nah, I don't think so. Have you decided against trading with me then? Well, if you should ever wish to reconsider, I shall be here waiting. Team GR is strong! Team GR is right! If you want to win the game, only use your cards to fight! Woo! Or, so says the propaganda. <laughs> I'm not so sure it's really true. I think I'll still focus on simply collecting cards, though. My personal motto is, do whatever you personally enjoy. Yes! I can get behind that motto. Just don't tell them, <laughs> tell Team GR I don't believe in their ideals. I don't need them shoving more propaganda down my throat. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. First area. Lots of lava. Not very good for the cards. That uh, could could cause a couple of scorchers, but let's, let's keep them far away from that. Just a moment, please. I'm trying to concoct a new recipe. Okay. So if I mix in a pinch of ginger now... No, no, no. I, I should stop and think this over first. I'm just a member of Team GR. Bernard has given me orders to improve my cooking skills. <laughs> Uh no. I'd like to come up with a tasty new recipe. I don't mind the least if you don't want to fight. I guess you'd be the only one there would be a problem for. <laughs> We're going to battle or make it quick. I'm busy. If I'm not careful, I can mess things up in the lava. <laughs> Alright, let's do all four card battle I mean, four prize card battles. Let's a go. Powerful premonition deck! <laughs> And, yeah, the theme of Fire Fortress is cooking. <laughs> All these guys are, well, for the most part, they're chefs. <laughs> well, this is a bad opening hand. Uh, well, we'll see how things turn out, but Abra does not have a lot of HP. Can I at least get a head flip? Yes, okay. <laughs> Star you, I can flop that out there and hopefully do a little paralysis. Oh, I could have actually retreated and instantly KO'd Growlithe because of the free retreat cost of Abra. I did not think that through. Can I get, get Paralyth? Dang it. Well, that might mean Abra could be knocked out, potentially, depending on how much power he can deal with. In I mean, deal in one turn. Uh, failed Pokeball. That's just basically discarding. Oh, we got another Pokeball. Can he get one? No, that's another fail. It's a minus two of his hand. Can he get a charge off? Can he get no all, all tails? All my my bad luck. 
has gone to the opponent. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go do a free retreat into Staryu, like I said. Like I should have done. Uh, yeah, oh, whoops, that's, yeah, I'm, I'm dumb, I'm dumb. But anyway, slap. I was thinking I should attach an energy for future Starmie, but, mm, I'll, I'll be fine. It's, it'll take him a while to actually do something to my Staryu, so... Everything should be okay. See, so you finish the turn without attacking. I mean, yeah, it's got 50 HP, but it, it, it won't do more than 30 damage, and then I can just recover if I really wanted to as well. Uh, but anyway, slap! Double damage! Oh! <laughs> and we shall see. Oh, he's changing plans. He's like, nope, that pony does going down. Uh, but you know what else is going down? That energy card they just attached to Growlithe. And I'm gonna go plop that on Staryu, evolve to Star Me, because it has more HP, and then begin the freezing. Not that it matters if it causes paralysis or anything like that, because it's gonna be knocked out regardless. It's just a thing of that I want more HP more than anything. Uh, he is not too pleased with this outcome. He's got an Arcanine with the Master Ball, though. Maybe that can help him turn things around? I wouldn't count on it though, but we'll see. <laughs> um, yeah, I think he just had a, as much bad luck as I did. Uh, I'm gonna go set that up. Set seal up and star freeze. Come on, paralysis at least. Yes, that means no retreating for you, young man. <laughs> uh, Meowth is flopped out there, enjoying the sofa. And... Okay, I can do that to Kadavra. Uh, yeah, I don't really see any reason to do anything more here. I mean, I could evolve into Dugong, but that's not much of an HP increase, and I could still attack with Seal with the one energy, so... I will just leave it at that, and the KO that Ponyta. Okie dokie. Good, good. So far, so good. And... No attack. Um... Oh, I was thinking I could swap to, but I can't. I, can't. I was thinking I could swap to Kadabra and KO Meowth, but Meowth has got Psychic Resistance, so that's not really a factor that I can do. Uh, could potentially set up Wigglytuff for the future. And uh, Starfreeze. Woo! Paralysis is a go-go! <laughs> oh, oh, he's got something. He, he likes that draw. Oh, it wasn't that good of a draw. <laughs> uh, psychic energy... Uh, which one of these two? I'm thinking do it to seal. Because I could get a dugong attack off, probably, before I could get a do the wave off with Wigglytuff, chances are. But I don't even think he's gonna... He's gonna retreat, yeah, but I mean, I don't think he's gonna really be able to do much about anything that I've got based on his draws. Uh, Bill, nice. <laughs> uh, we got water, we got some Bill, we got <laughs> a Bill draws into a Bill. Uh, okay, ooh, nice, nice. Uh, we're gonna go... Uh, I think I'm gonna remove the energy on the Growlithe, because I know he's got Arcanine coming. Uh, water going to there. Dugong going to there as predicted, and Star Freeze. I'm not too concerned about him drawing a bunch of cards with Fetch. Because uh, he's got a bunch of Pokemon that just are not really a good match versus what I've got here, so we'll see how things turn out. If I just leave it as is, and freeze. <laughs> He's gonna keep trying to fetch cards as long as he can, but he's gonna he's gonna have to swap out Kangaskhan eventually, because uh, I'm just gonna keep nicking off uh, nicking off damage from that. Unless he's not gonna have enough energy to pull off a retreat with Kangaskhan, but we shall see. I just don't want to get too overconfident. <laughs> that that RK9 could be a killer. Um, so yeah, he's probably gonna, he's probably hiding a, well there it is, he's probably hiding a double colorless energy or a switch card in his hand or something like that. I don't know his deck offhand as I, as I say with a lot of the characters, so. Um, I guess just in case, I'm gonna do that and then Star Freeze. 
Okay, so he's gonna probably attempt to switch now, if, if he can. I would hope that he'll be able to switch, otherwise it's game over. Um, yeah, that's game over. <laughs> Guess he was just not drawing the stuff like I don't draw the stuff often for some reason. Eh, well, that happens, and victory will just happen as a result of that for the opponent. Plus power... Not necessary, that would have sped up the turn count by one there a little bit because the 90 HP of Kangaskhan, but anyway, because uh, I lost, I guess I need to give you this booster pack first. Yeah, I got a Lost Soil booster pack! Raichu of the Giga Shock variety, attack those benches. Um, no Golem, interesting, I mean, it's got a lot of power. Also, uh, yeah, 100 damage to yourself with 80 HP, so you need two defenders to prevent that from the KOing. Th that that's probably not gonna happen, but it can do a lot of damage if you if you so desire. Uh, Amastar, this is the original fossil version of Amastar. It's a lot of coin flipping, <laughs> 70 HP. Uh, but yeah, that well, not not the water gun. That's not a coin flipping, but the spike cannon is yeah. So you're probably better off with the water gun, probably, because you're gonna you're gonna guarantee 40 out of that. But the spike cannon is probably gonna deal 30. But uh, but you probably get 30 for two, rather than 40 for four. Either or, I'm a knight and I'm a star line. Not probably one of the best to use. But anyway, I'm rambling on here. Let's continue on with the rest of this. Could do a fossil deck to show you how difficult they are to actually play some of these one of these days, but anyway, next I'll open the door is leading the Kara's room. When I press the switch, they should open. There's a switch in that rock? You're free to advance onward. I hope you go quickly. <laughs> but, but why? Don't you want me to help you with your recipe or something like that? Because of my diligent work finding new recipes, I can fight you free. <laughs> but shouldn't you be working finding recipe? <laughs> I, 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 maybe they're one and the same. No, <laughs> I see. I'll get right back to my cooking then. All right, next room. I like this girl. Uh, Mint, I've been waiting for you. Um, and uh, 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 what was it? Uh, I announce myself first, and then battle after that. I am the mighty car of Team GR. So I'm cooking for Mint. No, no, wait. We're we're, we're supposed to duel. I challenge you to a card duel, Mint. If you defeat me, I'll give you a booster pack. And she runs! <laughs> yeah, doors are closed tightly. Hmm. Hmm. Can't jump in the lava. There's no escaping. Anyway, done. <laughs> duel, duel, battle! Wait, 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 wait who? Uh, a, a battle against me? Uh, uh, is, is that it? Uh, uh, um, uh, what card should be allowed? Uh, the only fire energy. Card battle against me comes with a special condition. The only types of energy cards allowed in your deck are fire type. You ready to fight using such a deck? Yes. Oh, uh, you have other types of energy cards included in your deck. If other energy types are present, they must return with a fire deck. <laughs> the only allowable energy card type is fire energy. Challenge me again when you have a deck with only fire type energy. Oh, okay, so. Gotta play with the fire weed deck. Which I really don't have that much to tweak out of this, really. I just got those. I've got the Scyther way down at the bottom. <laughs> uh, actually, should I try a different critter line just for the fun of it? I was thinking maybe Ponyta and or Rapidash and or Dark Rapidash. Maybe. I mean, it's, it's okay, because I mean, I got those double colorless, don't forget about that. I'll try those, sure. I guess I could try regular old Magmar there, and I could also try this version of Magmar too. Oh, that's right, I get, yeah, the <laughs> same names, I can't. I can't, there will be five Magmars. So I need something splashable. Oops. Colorless Pokemon, I choose you! <laughs> I need something. Something that's a singular. About. About. And yeah, the chancy. <laughs> and then I need, of course, to swap all those. Oh, yeah, I can't use double colorless because of the fire rule. Well, it'll still be fine with the ponytail. 
Alright, so the rest are gonna be the fire energy. Save, but not to the record machine. I'm, I'm not gonna even bother renaming the deck because it's gonna go back the way it was after this anyway, so... I hope that you're prepared to have a duel with me now. And, um, prepared. What is it? Only allow decks with what cards? Oh, right! It's fire energy. The only permissible type of energy cards in your deck are fire energy. If you win the duel, I'll give you a booster pack. No. If you don't want a duel, in that case... If they decline a card battle, tell them they return later. <laughs> it's just a lot of parentheses thinking to herself. Please come back to fight it another time. Okay, okay. Uh, I hope you're prepared to end up prepared. What is it? Only on, okay, yes, yes, yes. Same dealio. Ready? City? Oh, I didn't select the deck, did I? Ah, poopers. <laughs> uh, pooper scoopers. All right. <laughs> yes. Four prize cards. Let's go. Fireball deck. <laughs> lots and lots of fire. So, with our energy retrievals, that will probably be an important card. Versus such decks, just saying, because you know the fires love to do the discards. I got a lot of fire. <laughs> the entire rest of my hand is fire energy. But if I was playing someone face to face, I wouldn't say that out loud. <laughs> so you'll notice that she's got a Squirtle there. How is she gonna work with the Squirtle? Well, that's because the Squirtle's got 20 damage shell attack with colorless energy. Yeah, there's a little, little bit of trickery there. I bet you weren't expecting that. But what I'm gonna do here is flame tail. Just start nicking down that Squirtle. It'll probably be able to knock out my Charmander on the next turn. Yeah, that's what I thought. Chad, she doesn't really have any bench Pokemon, so I might be able to finish this pretty quickly. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do? <laughs> I'm just gonna go focus on Charmander. See how that goes, and call it a turn. <laughs> uh, oh, she might actually get a basic now. That's too bad. Uh, yeah, ah, oh, I can't end the duel early. <laughs> I tried to make things as efficiently as possible, but I couldn't. I just couldn't. Okay, it's Charmander. <laughs> Regular old Charmander. Ooh, Chansey for the stalls. Play that to a Ember. Knock out that Squirtle, and... Oh, a Magma! Good stall, good stall. And she's got... The uh, 20 damage Charmander uh, coming. I don't know if I wanna. Ooh, ooh, ooh! <laughs> I was gonna say I don't want. Don't know if I wanna um, swap to that Magmar because I, I can do a decent amount of damage to that Charmander by just yeah slapping a bunch of fire energy on it like so. Anyway, so if I just scratch, I mean she could potentially energy removal again. But she's not going to be able to knock out my Charmander before I knock out hers, so... So... <laughs> also notice that the, the level up at the upper right corner there is kind of... Kind of cut off a little bit there. <laughs> That's okay! It's a long name. It's lacking character room. Alright, so let's see. We got Charmander, Energy Retrieval. Um, I think I want to go the boss's way to pull out Dark Charmeleon. Because it has... Well, actually, no, it doesn't have more HP. I was going to say it has more HP for the, the future, but... Yeah, 50. I keep forgetting that this is 50, not 80. Well, well. anyway, I'm just going <laughs> to... For the future with the other Charmander. And... Yeah, I'll just slap down everything. And then attack with the Ember. Now, hopefully... When she knocks out my Charmander, I will be able to stay in decent control of the game with my Magmar. Because this is a, this is a pretty fast and furious KO duel going on here for both sides. So, we'll see how that goes. Professor Oak. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna do that. You know, just it's, it's dump out your hand of stuff time. Uh, since I can only attach one energy per turn anyway, I think I'm just going to leave it at that, and then see about using Professor Oak on the next turn. And yeah, just kind of kind of see how things roll, because I don't have to use Professor Oak now anyway, as I'm kind of... Yes! As I'm kind of in a decent position here, so... i just go ahead and 
hopeful, oh, I was gonna say hopefully knock her out before she gets another bench Pokemon, but no! But no! Oh no! She could do a little nicking. But I will keep on a kicking. But she cannot do the kicking herself, because it requires a fire energy. I mean, a fight, fighting energy, and she's only got uh, fire energy. Um. Okay, we're gonna go do that. And Professor Oak. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm gonna skip the energy retrieval, because I just wanna kinda get stuff set up here, if, if at all possible, like Charmeleon there. Oh, man! Um. In any case, I'm gonna just go for the smoke screen this turn and then try the smog on the next turn. Because if I get the poison from the smog um, on this turn, it will not knock her out and she'll still be able to attack me freely without any sort of worry. Ooh! Ooh! Powerful card you got there! <laughs> and so it's the smoke screen. Yeah, see, if I use the poison, that would not have prevented the attack whatsoever. So that was something that worked in my favor there. Um, let's go... Oh, that's right. I, yeah, my, my other critter is already evolved into the dark version. So I'm gonna have to try doing a little something fancy here. We're gonna go trade off this dark Charmeleon for a Charmander. Any Charmander will do, really, but I'm thinking I should grab the one that has more HP, unless it's in my prize cards. It's... Uh, wait, unless I played... Did I play both of my other Charmanders? Or is, they, or is the other one in my prize cards? Well, in any case, I, that's the only one I can choose for my plan, so... Yeah, we're gonna go plop that on there and continue with the smoke screening. Alright. 50-50 chance of you attacking, best of luck. And I could potentially just knock it out with poison on the- Oh, scoop up! Sneaky sneaky! <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go with the Do Duo Fury attack, I suppose. Yeah, but only two coins will be flipped. Two coins will be... I was gonna say, will be tails. <laughs> but nah, one, one gets ahead. Okay, let's see if she's got any threats here. I mean, Squirtle could potentially be... something. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go, though, focus on the Charizard, because I think I'll just be able to sweep her remaining stuff if I can pull that off. So I'm gonna smoke screen for now. And not worry too much because she does not have any double colorless energy as per the rules of the game. Oh, Dodrio! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> That's only gonna do 20. Yeah, it's not. I didn't really have that much damage done to it. Okay, so it looks like I'm gonna have to do some retreating now. But magma requires. Oh, I thought this was two, but okay, we're, we're good then, we're good. We're gonna go plop that on Charmeleon, but not, not gonna, yeah, we, we don't have to worry too much about the attacking right now or anything like that, you know, it's, it'll be okay. It's only gonna be doing 20 damage a turn, you know. <laughs> Although she might be focusing on the Squirtle soon enough, we'll see. So I just gotta, gotta watch that Squirtle, because the Squirtle could be... The surprise. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I had a switch card coming. That's too bad. Uh, well, I couldn't have left Magmar out anyway, so... Yeah. Alright, so I can't let it do a rage at, at, at that much power, so I'm just gonna go... Plop Charizard out there. And... Call it a turn. See how things go. I'm, I'm gonna go for the fire spin on the next attack, just to completely wipe out Dodrio there. Uh, there we go. Uh, you know what, I'll Professor Oak. Might as well. I'm gonna get another fire energy anyway out of that. Or most likely I'm gonna get another fire energy out of that, yeah. That Dark Charizard for the potential multiple fireball attack. It's a pretty cheap attack, so I might as well power that bad boy up. And a fire spin. Bye bye, Dodrio. Now we're at one prize card apiece. I have 80 HP left. That Charmander is, uh, yeah. Ooh, oh, 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 oh. I thought she was gonna start powering up with uh, water energy. I mean, not water, but what up with fire energy to use water attacks. 
Uh, might as well put another stall magmar out there. And... We're done. <laughs> uh, oh man! Oh man! Oh. Okay. <laughs> nah, it's too late. Because nothing has resistance to fire attacks. So, well actually, even if it had resistance to fire attacks, it would still be a goner as it would take 70 damage. So... Victory goes to my thrown together fire deck. Oh, don't cry, it's just a game. It's just a game. Um, if I lose, then I am to award you with a booster pack, right? You tell me! <laughs> Alright. So we got Dark Blastoise, Atoros. Alright. Um, and I'm defeated in a duel. If you lose, remember to open locked doors. <laughs> I will now open the doors that lead the way to Ellen. Open sesame seeds! <laughs> now it's all up to Ellen. <laughs> and with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I go see what Ellen DeGeneres is doing over in the other room. Like, I didn't know she played cards. It's just, hmm. Well, Pokemon cards, I should say. She probably played, like, regular decks of cards, but I never heard of her playing Pokemon before. Hmm.